Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this AZ900 Azure Fundamental Series. Congratulations on reaching to the last lesson of this Azure Fundamentals module. Thank you so much for taking time and initiative to learn this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals course. In this lesson, we're going to explore service lifecycle in Azure. Microsoft offers reviews of Azure services, features, and functionalities for evaluation purposes. With Azure previews, you can test pre-release features, products, services, softwares, and even regions. Previews allow users early access to functionalities. Additionally, users providing feedback on preview features help Microsoft improve the Azure services as well. Private preview and public preview. In private preview, an Azure feature is available to certain Azure customers for evaluation purposes. In public preview, an Azure feature is available to all Azure customers for evaluation purposes. Azure preview, Azure feature previews are available with their own terms and conditions. The terms and conditions are specific to each Azure preview. All preview specific terms and conditions supplement your existing Azure service agreement. Some previews aren't covered by customer support at all. You can access to Azure preview services by going into preview.portal.azure.com. Don't worry, I will take you through a walkthrough explaining how to do that in the next video. And let's understand what is general availability. Once a feature is evaluated and tested successfully, it may release to customers as part of Azure. In other words, the feature may be made available for all Azure customers. A feature released to all Azure customers typically goes through a general availability or called as GA. This image outlines the general process for features and bugs during the development lifecycle. It's common for features to move from Azure preview features to general availability based on customer evaluation and feedback. You can go to Azure Updates page for information about the latest update to the Azure product services and features. From an Azure Update page, you can actually view details about all Azure updates, see which updates are in general availability, preview and development, browse updates by product category or update type by using the provided drop-down list, search for updates by keyword by entering search terms into a text entry field. Or you can subscribe to get Azure Update notification by RSS as well. Now that we have learned about the preview and the general availability, let's go and find out how you can access and identify the Azure preview services and features. So we'll see you on the next walkthrough. Till then, take care.